which subshell has three possible orientations. So we have uh, different uh, options, choices here. We have S, subshell, P, D, and F. Now, let's recall what kind of quantum number is related with a subshell. It is the uh, angular momentum quantum number L. Okay, so L subshell means L equals zero, P L equals one, D L equals two, and so on and so forth. All right, okay. So what exactly is asked uh, in this question? Which subshell has three possible orientations? It simply means which subshell has three orbitals. We know each orbital have a different orientation. So in the 3D uh, uh, space. So we already learned the number of orbitals can be determined by the number of ML. And of course, ML, the value of ML is determined by L. So there are two different ways to write the ML values. Okay, so in this case, we already determined L equals, actually, actually we already know uh, in this question, the number of L, L values should be three because of three possible orientations means three orbitals, three orbitals means three ML values, all right? If uh, there are three ML values, then of course, first you have to have the zero, then plus minus one, that's three, okay? So uh, zero plus minus one, okay, that's a three uh, uh, orbitals. Now we need to go back, okay, uh, with the three ML values, we need to find out the subshell. Um, of course, based on this definition, ML value equals zero plus minus one all the way to plus minus L. So therefore the maximum uh, value, ML value here is one. Therefore L in this case has to be one. If L equals one, then that's the P subshell. So therefore the answer has to be P subshell. P subshell has a three ML values, or in other words, three different orientations. So now we know it has to be the P subshell, but let's take a, a closer look at the three uh, possible uh, orientations. Um, we know, of course, the three uh, P orbitals. One is a uh, uh, P X, P Y, P Z. Okay. So, please recall the shape of P orbitals is two lobes. So, like a dumb bell. All right. So PZ orbital, that should be the one, the two uh, lows aligned with the Z direction. You see, like this one. So then which one's PX? PX, the two lobes has to be along the X axis. That's the PX. So PY, the electron density should look 
like this. So along the y-axis, you see, so we have uh, now px, the blue one, py, the yellow or uh, the red one, and then pz, the orange one. And if you put all of them together, the p orbital would look like this. pz, the vertical, px and pi are the horizontal, but px is this way, that's the px, and that's the py. That's it for this question.